It's exciting to talk about, and I love to talk about all the different diverse voices that make up STEM fields and, and the future that is just going to do nothing but continue to grow. And that's it. It's the future. It is. It's our future leaders here. Uh, speaking of the future, my friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it, it, I mean, tomorrow is just going to be the day. What did you, what, what was your caption for tomorrow? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, amazing. That's all, that's all it, that's it's it. That's all I put. Amazing. That's all I need. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> I'm still waiting to go out on that boat, though. You're going to be waiting tomorrow, a little while tomorrow longer. Tomorrow will be the day. Oh, a live shot but tomorrow. The problem is it's not in the water yet. Yeah. Oh, but we can go sit in the storage facility and just sit in the boat and look around. Wherever you are is where I want to be. <laughs> All right. How about that? <laughs> Let's go outside right now. I want to start, by, start out by showing you guys at least what it looks like on satellite and radar. Yeah, we do have a little bit of storm system that's moving through portions of southern Wisconsin right now. But this guy right here, boom, right here. This is what's helping us out today and will continue to help us out tomorrow as well. You saw the that warm front on there. We're expecting another warm front to move northward tomorrow. So our temperatures in the 50s tomorrow, at least at least right now, the 50s will arrive in the morning and then we go back into the upper 70s and low 80s. But hundreds of miles of sunshine right there with our trifecta of high pressure back off towards the Atlantic coastline and just up towards the north of us. So our next system arrives. Friday night into Saturday, and that'll bleed over into Sunday as well as we're expecting a couple cold fronts to arrive across the area. Snowfall is still not going to be expected, at least for our region, but that cold air is going to be arriving back into the into the mix for our, uh, at least our Friday, Saturday, and heading towards Sunday as well. So that's our system right now. It's going to take a few hours for it to get here, though, but last, at least right now we're enjoying the mid-50s. North-northeast winds, courtesy of that area of high pressure, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and all other areas are enjoying a little bit of a seasonably cool Wednesday across the region still slightly above average. You can see down south low 60s right now. A pair of sixes in Dover as well as downtown is a little bit on that cooler side as well. Rain showers will be coming in with our next frontal boundary. As I said before that arrives on Friday, we're going to have a little bit of a knee jerk reaction starting out fairly cool on Saturday and then warming things up yet again. Here's your national design more hour by hour forecast for the rest of the evening. A few clouds can be expected south wind arriving tomorrow. So notice our temperatures climbing. Upper 70s are going to be expected. Amazing sunshine still holds ground for our Thursday for most of the day on Friday with increasing clouds and maybe even some rumbles late. Rain likely on Saturday. Showers developing on Sunday, Monday. Another rainy stretch there, but dry for next Tuesday. More on this 4 p.m. show coming up after the break.